Okay, purpose of this video is uh, I've had a hard time digging logs out of this Edge OS and um, and I figured I may as well share some of what I've learned in this process. So, a couple of things that you want to do. Um, go over to your, to your firewall policies. So, firewall in that, firewall policies, and you've got your WAN in. ETH zero, that's the one that you're going to want to be monitoring as far as traffic that's coming in from the outside world. Click on edit rule set. And you'll see you've got uh, one for drop, one for allow. Under the one for drop, you would think you don't need to do anything there, but you want to make sure that when something's dropped, you get some log information on that. So make sure that that's checked. It will not be by default. If you want to see what's accepted, of course, you can do the same thing over there. So that's step one. Make sure that your interface is, uh, the log button is checked. Now, this one hasn't proved to be as valuable. I'm going to give you a couple of different ones. There's one that a video I found online. I talked about uh, editing, turning on a log to a remote server. So basically, you figure out what the IP address of your computer is. Now, I'm on a, a Windows machine right here. Um, and if I do an IP config, I see that my one of my IP addresses is right here. So I plug that in on the uh, router, and I put the log level to debug, and I went ahead and saved that information. Now, there was a two-part process uh, involved there. I downloaded a piece of software called Kiwi Syslog which is free, although they're going to ask you for your email address in order to download it. Okay, I'm going to bring that up again. I just lost it. Okay. Now, I've got logging turned on. Okay, I've installed it, basically, and after installing, uh, you then click your file menu and the setup selection, which is going to give you this right here. Now, I went down to the inputs area, and I entered in the name of the uh, IP address of the router that I'm trying to monitor. So as soon as I put that IP address in there and hit apply, immediately it started logging. Um, so we've got Edge sending it to my Windows computer and then this Kiwi syslog picking it up. Now there are some other things, there's some debug options where you can clear the log, you can increase perhaps I'm not really familiar with a lot of this stuff, but there's some stuff, there's other things that you can do in that environment that will uh, decrease or increase the amount of log traffic that you're seeing here. Okay, so that's that's one other way to look at logs. Now let's give you yet another one. Um, CLI. Your login is going to be the same login that you go when, when you're on the website. Same, no different. And that'll get you to a command line. This is your, basically a Linux interface. Um, now here's the thing. You can also go, I'm going to get you an IP. No, I, I guess it doesn't give me an IP. Oh, I know the IP address. It's, uh, the, the well, I'm going to show you something else here. I, I just showed you that you can log in from the Edge CLI environment directly. But you can also log in from any SSH program like PuTTY. So for instance, if I right click on this, look at edit session, you can see it's the basic IP address of your router, your username, it uses port 22 by default, and now using PuTTY or your favorite editor, you can edit and go on in. Now I've been there before, so it had my credentials cached. That's why it allowed me to get in. Okay, let's go to the log area. I'll just show you what's in there. Uh, you can see a variety of logs. You don't have the standard Linux logs. It's their own logs. Um, frankly, I haven't found an easy way to, uh, to view the contents of that. Oh, I take that back. Yeah, that's right. Tail works in there. So, tail, F messages, and that'll give you a real-time look at what's happening in your message environment. So that's one way of looking at logs. Now, another way is, let's say you only want to look at what's happening on ETH0. Oh, yeah, I haven't figured out how to clear in this environment either, but 
show interfaces, Ethernet ETH0 capture. I hit enter. It starts working on that capture. And a few seconds later, you get a, a clear look at what's happening on that interface. Now, that's every port that, uh, that, you know, that the device supports. So you can also nail that down to a specific port by going like this. Same, same command. Uh, we'll say 443. Oh, wrong again. Got to get the word port in there. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, so now it's watching on what's coming on, on 443. So those are, uh, that's a variety of ways that you can look at log files. Uh, one last thing to note, you can use TC dump. So if you run a command like that, uh, it'll watch just that particular port, and you can watch for the, out the output on that. So I hope this helps you. It certainly helped me resolve some problems uh, and figuring out where the problems were coming from. Uh, and, you know, this is, I really created this for my future self because I'm sure I'm going to run down, go down this road again and, uh, and help you in the process. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.